hi in this video i am going to tell you about netbeans ftp configuration so prerequisite of this video is the video in which i tell you about the installation of laravel on live server that was godaddy server so let's start by opening bitwise ssh client in bitwise ssh client we will type our host name that is our godaddy servers ip address and the cpanel username and cpanel password i have hidden my cpanel username and cpanel password because i don't want to tell you for security reasons so i need to understand this tutorial you need to watch my previous video that is on installation of laravel on live server that is godaddy server so enter cpanel username cpanel password and click on login the two windows will open one is the file explorer of the remote server and other is the command prompt of ssh client type pwd on command prompt if it says home slash username you are in the correct directory now type cd bin the bin directory was created in the previous tutorial you will enter the c bin directory now type composer.far the composer was installed in the previous tutorial so if you see the composer logo then you are ready to start with this tutorial now type when you are in the bin directory type composer.far space create hyphen project space laravel forward slash laravel space my second project by this you are creating your laravel project in the bin directory once i have already created my uh, laravel project in the bin directory once you have created your project in the bin directory download it using the filezilla on your local pc and by using the file explorer of your bitwise client cut it and paste it in the public underscore html folder i am going to paste it right it now right now so here i paste it in public underscore html folder by this you can access it right away by typing the url now you no need the ssh client log out of the ssh client log out of the command prompt of the ssh client now we will open netbeans id netbeans id is the free id for php java and c and c++ and other languages so i have already downloaded the project on my local pc here is the project in d drive zamp htdocs folder so i will open the project in netbeans so go to file and open project then browse through the directories in which the project is located go to zamp go to htdocs and open the project the project name is my second project open the project right click on the project node and go to properties click on properties and go to run configuration probably it will be the second option in run as select remote website ftp sftp in project url give the url of your site the url by which your project opens my website name is laravel kid so i will give the url as http colon double forward slash laravel kid dot com forward slash my second project forward slash public so, so let's access this in browser what is the output of our current project so in browser we will type laravel kid dot com forward slash my second project forward slash public and hit the enter key so it will show the default laravel file logo so 
सो नाउ इन द रिमोट कनेक्शन क्लिक ऑन मैनेज गिव योर एफ टी पी अ नेम यू कैन गिव एनी नेम आई एम गिविंग माई नेम इन द हुस नेम गिव योर रिमोट सर्वर्स आई पी एड्रेस इन एनक्रिप्शन चोज प्योर एफ टी पी इन यूजर नेम गिव योर सी पैनल्स यूजर नेम एंड इन पासवर्ड गिव योर सी पैनल्स पासवर्ड इन द इनिशियल डायरेक्टरी गिव फॉरवर्ड स्लैश पब्लिक अंडर स्कोर एच टी एम एल डायरेक्टरी चेक द चेक बॉक्स पैसिव मोड एंड चेक द चेक बॉक्स इग्नोर डिसकनेक्टेड डिसकनेक्ट एरर्स यू नीड टू चेक दैट नाउ क्लिक ऑन टेस्ट कनेक्शन यू विल बी क्रिएटेड विद द मैसेज सक्सेसफुली कनेक्टेड कनेक्टेड कनेक्शन सक्सेडेड नाउ क्लिक ऑन ओके इन अपलोडेड डायरेक्टरी यू नीड टू गिव फॉरवर्ड स्लैश माई सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट to successfully connected upload a file to your remote server project in upload files you can choose on save or you can choose manually it is better to choose on save if you are working regularly on your project now click on okay let's change something in our project the current output of our project is the default laravel 5 logo let's change something in our project so we will go to app http and routes.php file we will comment our welcome controller and we will type route double colon get in single quotes forward slash then function then open bracket close bracket then flower bracket open then return hi this is a home page this is home page and it with a semicolon and end the root with a semicolon right click on roots php file and click on upload you will see successfully succeeded one file uploaded one file processed now click on run the play button then you will see hi this is the home page this is the tutorial If you like our tutorial give it a thumbs up if you have any questions write in comments if you want to see our more videos click on subscribe button thank you